Hello everyone. Thank you for being a part of our meeting today. Um, today we'll be looking at um, the Luzax law. And those of you that subscribe, I'm so happy for you. We are so grateful. I want to say thank you. And I've been reading some comments there. And some of them will be looking at them and finding a way to make it um, to resolve the issues there. Thank you for your comments and your uh, suggestions. And today, let's quickly look at what the disaster law states. Today, we're going to look at that and then try to do some uh, calculations with, uh, based on the law, the disaster law. So, what we have here on the board is so that the disaster law states that the volume of the gas. The volume of the gases which react at STP via a simple four number ratio to one another and to the volume of the products. So, what is trying to let us understand here is that when gases combine, when they combine at STP, that they do so in a simple ratio with each, with, the, with each other and the products or the reaction or the combination. Now, what we have here, we have a combination between of hydrogen and uh, oxygen to give us water. So the simple ratio, the, the results is talking about here is what we have. You see the ratio here, we have two here, we have one, and this other one is two. So this is the ratio. This ratio must not necessarily be equal. That is to say, when you add this together, you get the other one together. But it is obvious from every indication that there must be a ratio of a relation, relation that exists in every, every gas reaction at STP. So based on that, from what I have already showed you here, it means that there's always a relationship that exists. So we're going to take a simple um, calculation that will help us really understand how to use this in solving some problems in uh, in chemistry. Some of the calculations. So let's see what we can do as in to get the question. So the question says, what volume of oxygen is required to burn completely? 20 cm cube of ammonia. If all gases are measured at STP, the big question there says that what is the total volume of the products of the reaction? We have the chemical equation here. That's the chemical equation. And based on um, Gerizas law, since it's at STP, since the reaction is at STP, and if you look at this very well, you find out the coefficient tells us is telling us the the ratio of the combination, the ratio of this combination. And from the ratio of the combination, we find out that four. We can say that four cm cube or the um, of the ammonia who what will uh, combine with. 3 cm cube of oxygen to give us 6 cm cube of steam and 2 cm cube of nitrogen. 2 cm cube of nitrogen. So, but in this question, we want to know what 25 cm cube will produce. I mean, 20 cm cube, sorry. Uh, 20 cm cube, what are we going to get if? Uh, um, if 20 cm cube combines with um, oxygen, or well, the first thing we are trying to find out here is the volume of the oxygen that will burn this one completely. So the volume of oxygen that will burn it completely, for us to calculate that, the next thing we are going to do is to compare the relation, the relation of the and the relationship there based on the ratio. Since we have already established the fact that um, we have 4 cm cube 
4 cm cube of ammonia that will combine with 3 cm cube of oxygen. So then 20 cm cube of ammonia will then be 3 over 4 to be equal to 3 over 4 times 20 over 1. So when we cancel out, this will give us 5. Then if it's 5, then 5 times this will have 15 cm cube. That is 60, 15 cm cube of oxygen will combine, will combine with will combine with 20 cm cube of ammonia for the ammonia to be to burn completely. So this is done. Now look at how we do this. If you look at that, we are just comparing, we are comparing the two this uh, the two ratios and we assume it to be the volume of the uh, two gases that are combining. So in this case again, based on the same thing, based on this again, we can also go over to because the second question said the products, the total volume of products. Now the total volume of product is what we're looking at here. Everything we have there from this equation, we can say that we have six cm cube plus this plus two cm cube there. What we have from this equation, we have we can say that is what six plus this will give us um, eight, eight cm cube here. Well, that is not exactly what we are looking for. We are looking at what we get when twenty combined one with this to give us what are we going to likely to get here. So. So based on that now, we look at, we compare the same thing, we are going to compare them, look at how they combine according to the lizards. Um, we have um, volume of, let's start from steam, volume of, of steam produce, the volume of steam produce, yeah, um, 4 cm cube of ammonia, 4 cm cube of ammonia will give us, from the chemical equation here, will give us 6 cm cube of what? Um, water, that's the steam. So, having done that, that is 20 cm cube, 20 cm cube of ammonia, what are we going to get then? What we have here will then be um, we'll have 6 over 4 times 20 over 1. Then we'll cancel out, we have 5. 5 multiply 6, we have 30 cm cube of um, steam that will be produced. So now we'll go over to the volume of the nitrogen that will be produced. From here, we find out from that chemical equation that we have already stated before. We said that this and that. From our chemical equation, we find out that um, two, four, four cm cube will produce two cm cube of um, ammonia and, and nitrogen, nitrogen gas, and um, from the chemical equation. So we go down here, working based on what we have there, based on what we have. We can say that volume of what nitrogen would then be 4 cm cube of ammonia that will give us um, 2 cm cube of nitrogen gas. So 20 cm cube of ammonia would then be 2 over 4 times 20 over 1. This will give us that we have, that will be um, 10 cm cube. Now this is based on the second question we are asked. Say that the total volume of gas is produced. So from what we have, we can, you can see that everything from what we have here now, this is 30 and then 2. That means the total volume of the total volume of gas of gas of gases and produce produce of energy 
will be equal to um, 30 plus 10. That will give us 30 plus 10 will give us 40 cm cube. That is combining both of them together. All right. Um, thank you so much, and I hope um, you we had a very good time now. I want to believe that you enjoyed the class, and and, and I want you to uh, do one thing. Just if you have not subscribed, you just subscribe, and you can also share and like. Please, I want to see your comment. I want to read your comments at least to know where we can, you know, um, work on and as in. The questions anywhere you have an issue that you want us to talk about so you can leave your comments there all right thank you so much and goodbye